Hey there, welcome back from lunch or breakfast or, or whatever it is in your time zone. I'm uh, happy to see you here for the next talk and I'm very happy to welcome a special guest today, a real celebrity in the Nordic world. Uh, we're, welcome, we're welcoming Antonio, the author of the first stand up in studio in the Nordic world called Mar Nordic Open Skills Marketing Automation. Uh, hey, Hi, Ekim. So good to see you. How are you? Very good, very good. I'm so glad we're rolling and uh, all is well here. Um, for, for those who don't know you, let, let me give a little bit of intro introduction. Antonio is not only... Sorry, Ekim. I have a uh, high music in uh, oh. my ear. Probably everybody else too. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, so once again, welcome, Antonio. Um, you are not only the, the the famous author of the Mordic book, Open Source Marketing Automation. You're also you've, you've also been around in the Mordic world from day one, basically as a user and as a marketer uh, using Mordic, uh, Mordic for his clients. Um, yeah. Maybe some have heard of you, maybe not. So let me let uh, let them give a little bit of background. Um, as a marketeer, today you you work with larger and smaller customers, basically always to growing their business. I know you all you are also committed to social projects, environmental projects, etc. As a, a side topic, help them yeah. communicating well, and I, I love that. Very good. <laughs> um, I Today, though, you want to talk to us about a very specific thing, and that's about monetization of a contact uh, contact strategy. <laughs> no, a content <laughs> strategy, of course. So, Antonio, very welcome to Modicon, and I'm looking forward to your content. Before we start, though, I'd like to remind everybody that we have a little button at the top, or whatever it is in, in your Beardly uh, platform, it says ask questions so please uh, feel free to put all the questions you have for antonio right there and we'll have enough time at the q a after the talk so we can um, answer them all and even more okay and now have fun with uh how to monetize a content strategy with modic let's go thanks a lot hi to all I'm Antonio Lazzari, as uh, Hecke says, and uh, today I will uh, try to answer to these uh, questions. How to monetize the investment in contents uh, that thanks to Motic? Uh, first of all, I will to apologize for my not so good English. I will try and uh, be patient with me. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's try to understand the difference between uh, marketing automation and email marketing. In my opinion, marketing automation is to email marketing as a drawing is to real world. Let me say that email marketing is a two-dimension world, I think. Marketing automation is a many-dimension world. Uh, when we work with email marketing, uh, we have lists or segments uh, and activate action on them. Working with Mautic and uh, marketing automation means uh, building a series of parallel matrices that can be used in a simple way or a little bit a simple way. An effective strategy in Motic is a strategy that makes the most of the profiling and segmentation of contacts. Let's see how to use this potential to monetize our content strategies thanks to Motic. First of all, it's important to write good contents. I'm not going to tell you about persuasive writing. These are informations you need to know. Uh, knowing how to write uh, for a goal, for uh, a reader, is uh, the foundation of marketing automation. Study the many materials you can find online on how you write, 
how to make a landing page, uh, how to write an email, how to make uh, an effective form, and so on. Everything is good. Study many, many you can. You can. When we write, we must have a strategy. We need to know, first, why we are writing content. Second, what we want to get from that content. This is a strategy. You need these two informations. Third, identify your niche. It's really important. Study the communication characteristics, the style, how users respond to the various contents you find online. Analyze the text, the images, and try to understand what works and why it works. It's really important. Then you have to create some contents categories. In your site, I think, that meet your needs and write contents for each category. You have to categorize all your content. This is another important cornerstone uh, in your strategy. Now, let's go Mautic, uh, to Mautic and create some forms. Uh, the first, uh, can you, okay, you can see, sorry. Here, I prefer um, campaign form because uh, they are more flexible for this strategy. Okay, this is an example form and is very, very simple. You can see only two fields, for example, and nothing else, no actions. Okay, you can start with a simple uh, form and we need now to insert this form in our sites, okay? Simple way with automatic or manual copy. It's really important to use category form and many form, any form for a single category of articles in your sites. We get the advantage of having contacts already interested in our content. In fact, a user considers your article interesting, will stay in touch with you. For example, in my blog, I had uh, some categories. This is about uh, uh, tourism, for example, and I have a specific form here about tourism and uh, environmental subjects another category, another blog category, and I had another form. As you can see, the form is a little bit different, but very, very simple. Every form for every category is important. Now we need to create a campaign for each form, and we can build a campaign a simple campaign again over the time you feel uh, sorry okay you use this form no good connection please we use the the form that we just created you can use a double opt-in we Don speaks about uh, this uh, strategy today and insert uh, a an action, modify contact tag, that refer to the category of our blog and the tags we uh, put before. Now, let's create a segment that has uh, this tag as filter. So, again, a simple, very simple segment with a single tag. You can use these options and including the same tag. 
I recommend using every time the same name. This is useful when you have many, many strategies and many, many tags and many, many segments. Uh, keep it clear and simple. Now, at this point, create a new campaign. This campaign will be useful for profiling the contacts. Go in there, and this is a little bit more complex campaign. And you can see we have the entrance form from the segment we have just created. And when a user enters in this campaign, we send two emails that refers to some articles of the site, for example, or some contents that they can find on our site. At this point, after the second email, this is important in my opinion, and not after the first email, because we need to clear interest from curiosity. We need uh, contact with interest in our content and not uh, um, people who click for curiosity or open our email only for, only for curiosity. So uh, put our action after the second email. Now, after the second email, we make a decision and check if the contact has read the email or he went on the side or click an email. You can choose uh, everything you want. And uh, we have uh, many other uh, choices, but it's important that after this action, we send the contact if they make the actions to a prospect campaign. That is a campaign more close to uh, sell. Now, if uh, uh, the, um, the contact doesn't open the email, we can send a third email, like the first and the second. And again, we have the same action. If he opens email, we send it to the same campaign, or we can send, if not, in another campaign that verify the interest because we un don't understand really the, the, the interest of this contact. Now, let's see what this campaign are. The prospect campaign is a very simple and uh, it can be a direct email marketing campaign, a standard DEM campaign. Uh, we will send uh, emails uh, with valuable content, uh, um, like again, blog, bar blog articles uh, or other contents that refer to our, uh, our blog. Uh, but uh, every email uh, at this time need to contain sales contents um, or every free for email, um, this uh, depends on your uh, behavior, uh, will uh, uh, contain only explicit sales contents. I generally, I send two free email without uh, explicit uh, sales content and then another. You can see here a little delay. Uh, again, this decision depends on your behavior and your uh, uh, contacts. The interest verification campaign, the other one, could be another uh, simple campaign, campaign like the, um, the preview. And, uh, but these send only nurturing emails, only content emails. Uh, we now need to study the behavior of our uh, contacts. 
all the content of our, our blog must be present in this strategy. We have to test every kind of category of our blog. At the end of each campaign, we will have to check what the contact has read and start over with a similar cycle by changing category, for example, or changing campaign with other content and so on. Once again, after identifying the category of interest, move the contact into the campaign for prospect. Uh, don't wait uh, long. Uh, all these decisions can be automated by a segments filter or another campaign, action, decision, and uh, so on. We can also introduce elements to investigate interest in changing content themes. You can improve this strategy by using, uh, for example, points uh, to measure engagement. Also, analyze the quality of and effectiveness of uh, what you send. For example, I use dashboard, as you can see now, okay. That helps me quickly understand the effectiveness of my strategy. As you can see, uh, in this way, I immediately uh, identify if an email, you can see here my sent emails, generate visit on my uh, site. You can see direct, directly looking at these uh, graphs. And um, I can see my reading time increasing in the site and which are the best email and the best segments, which action cause better engagement, which segments generate more opt-in, and so on. KPI are very, very important in this uh, phase. This strategy is very simple. As uh, you work, you can make it more and more complex and closer to your needs. Uh, every strategy needs test and improvement. Don't start at the first um, test. Go ahead and continue modify every day, every day, every time you see something uh, um, new. That's a good starting point. Uh, analyze your data and modify your strategy according to the results you get. To improve, it, uh, you can also uh, carry out A-B test on contents. Uh, keep in mind, uh, A-B test uh, are not only on uh, call to actions. Uh, we, every marketer uses A-B test uh, on call to action to test color, to test a single word, uh, to test a single image. Use it also for content. Uh, you have here two variations, for example, for an email. And uh, uh, here mm, we can see a simple email. You can see some text and image and so on. And variation B, I had the same email, but I modify only a little piece of text. The, sorry, mm, this is in Italian. I can translate uh, it before. And... Uh, the other uh, content are the same. You can so you can text only this uh, piece of content and uh, see if it uh, work well or not, and uh, or work uh, better of this. Uh, you have to test every piece of content for every uh, different segments. Try and everything for every segment. If your um, piece of content work with a segment, uh, probably it could not work with another segment. So try and test everything, everything. Test, test, test. You can use point to measure engagement and uh, also you can use negative points to highlight um, action of uh, little value. In uh, this example, uh, I use uh, these are 
um, my true example, my true work, you can see I had 10 points for uh, who download my book and uh, three points for who read an article on my sites, two points for who read an email, read an email, but I also had this uh, action, less one point for every email I sent. This is a good uh, strategy, and I test it uh, many times for super uh, for obtaining a good uh, clustering of engagement. And you have to try uh, this work for me, uh, not for you probably, but try something uh, similar and um, verify for your your audience. Another important. Uh, think in uh, content strategy is uh, uh, segments. If you do all this thing, you probably had a situation like mine. I had, uh, I think, less than uh, 1,000 contact active now in my database. You can see some segment with uh, high number of contacts, but you can see also some segments with a low number of contacts and no contacts because I, you can see here, bounce, I clear every day my DB. Uh, you have to delete uh, all contacts that are not uh, valuable and use only uh, who is valuable. For example, you can see here, uh, this is a segment for uh, prospecting marketing. This is a segment for prospecting sustainability. And you can see I had three contact and one contact. And here, prospect for my book, and I have one, only one contact. When I write a mail to this, probably I obtain obtain a conversion uh, because it is a high value contact. After I move it in other segments and I start with a new strategy on this contact. So uh, use segment by crossing tags, points, interest to obtain a great profiling. Mm, segments are the best place for a high profiling strategy and only in a high profile strategy can monetize our uh, work okay another important thing to monetize and profiling our content strategy is uh, our custom fields uh, to add specific information in this example you can see i had um, custom field for webinar. When uh, I have a webinar, I tag here my custom, my contacts, sorry. Mm, this is another useful for Honeypot strategy. You can find it online. It's a very useful uh, strategy to prevent uh, bot spam. But uh, using a specific uh, custom field help you um, many times um, with my customers i use many many custom fields uh, for identify specific uh, interest in um, product behavior product uh, characteristic characteristics uh, sorry or for services characteristics or again for uh, specific behavior that i find studying data uh, Custom fields can help you in a, a high value strategy and use it. Uh, use a many, many custom fields uh, could be important. Last but not least, uh, use focus item. Focus item uh, uh, have to be specific. Don't use um, spam-like strategy with uh, focus item that uh, opens everywhere. Use specific focus item for individual pages or individual articles on your blog, uh, along with forms to verify interest. 
um, combining a focus item in specific forms again could help could help you in a high uh, profiling strategy every profile strategy could produce you uh, conversion and monetization and uh, sell you can sell with uh, a simple way again test everything test every time and then test again don't stop testing test everything 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 you have to profile profile and profile again never stop uh, uh, create new segments never stop test new segments and uh, every time you have a new segment test a new content uh, on it um, generally i use a segment uh, a new segment for testing uh, new contents a new strategy and uh, then to put this strategy to other segments and see if they works um, remember if something work in a profiling uh, sector doesn't work in another this is a quick and easy uh, approach uh, to profile uh, aim to monetize the uh, content uh, work on it and carry on testing uh, uh, use it uh, to produce uh, new strategies and uh, to uh, move this to a high value uh, strategy um, for uh, for me i think it's better to work at the to test it and uh, not to see uh, many many different strategy so okay, i think um, that's all for me and uh, i here i'm uh, here if you someone uh, needs or uh, want or have uh, questions sure thank you so much for those really comprehensive insights in, in how you are doing your project and i think it's what almost everybody in marketing should be aware of and should be using so um, let me look at at the questions i have one from caro who says can you tell more about giving negative points do you assume that sending a lot of uh, uh okay let's 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 start with, i think it's two questions Let, let's start with <laughs> more about negative points yeah um negative points uh, are useful for clustering uh, your uh, audience uh, uh, when you put negative points uh, you have a divergent uh, uh, solution because uh, uh, you have uh, some contact then that go high okay sorry that go higher in a little time and uh, some contact that go down in your um, strategy in your um, count um, you have to to find the low value uh, action for example if you send uh, 10 email uh, sending email is not a good uh, kpi because uh, you send a ton of emails uh, but uh, uh, that are not uh, valuable only send email read email click on email is a good action okay again on uh, your site for example if you have a uh, high value content on your site uh, you want uh, to drive your traffic uh, and your strategy on a single uh, blog post uh, you can use positive email uh, positive points sorry for this single blog post or a category you can use uh, wildcards uh, for example in the url when uh, in the action in the in the campaign and you can use negative points for um, other category that you don't want to use so in a little time you can super, super, separate sorry separate your clustering uh, your cluster uh, your content and you can use point uh, to select only people who make that action 
in my situation, for example, uh, I want to uh, clean my database from uh, users that are low engaged. So send, uh, use negative points to send sending email, uh, send our contact to negative points and only contact that move to engaging that have engaged engaged have a positive uh, points i think uh, i hope it's clear okay are you online yeah sorry there we go <laughs> Yeah, I think it is clear. It also takes a little bit of, of practice, but, but uh, the general idea, just if you take this with you, uh, then you can start playing around with it and making experience. Um, the, the other question from Caro uh, was, do you assume that sending a lot of emails is a negative thing because you don't know what they want or why? I'm not sure I get that question really sending a lot of emails um i think i think sorry <laughs> i think sending a lot of email is uh, not a good strategy anymore um i had for example i had a big customer that send um, that had uh, uh, five millions of uh, contacts and uh, with the uh, high level of uh, engaged they had uh, very important uh, contacts but uh, we send only uh, 60 70 thousand of email every time because we use a uh, high quantity of segments and uh, we split uh, all the contacts in little uh, segments uh, sending a ton of emails uh, like uh, every day or um, uh, one per month uh, depends on our audience. Uh, there is not a, a solution. He, um, I had a um, customer that consider one email per week uh, uh, too high and customer that uh, send two free email per day. It depends on audience and above all, it depends on content of this email. Depends on period, under uh, Black Friday, sending a free email per day probably, probably was not a problem. Um, in August, when we are uh, to the summer, probably that's a problem. Um, you have to test uh, and you have to think uh, what uh, you are doing and what, uh, see the datas. The okay. datas are your important uh, driver. Yeah, and no, no golden bullet for everything, of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, here's another one from Carmelo. That's I can send email to users on a day different for category different so that's probably how a more general question about sending emails depending on the day of week or depending on the category of the user or whatever depending on your audience uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, very not uh, we haven't uh, only uh, answer um, again uh, with an example i had a customer that send email only on weekend uh, other that never send email on the weekend i prefer to send my email uh, uh, by night uh, other send email only in um, coffee break because they are in uh, near the coffee or in a relaxed moment yeah. Again, try your audience uh, and uh, see your data. So no, no answer uh, and no, no rules uh, on this. Yeah. Um, a question regarding all this data and, and testing everything, as you said. Uh, did you ever try testing uh, focus items? 
Yeah, yeah, I test it and uh, with um, um, great attention, uh, they work very well. Uh, mm -hmm. As I said, uh, um, don't put uh, uh, in your footer uh, the, the script uh, because uh, in the, this kind of solution, every page of your site had a pop-up. It's not a good uh, solution. It's a, Mm, not no well. Um, you can use uh, focus item with a specific content in a specific uh, article of your blog, for example, or uh, in a specific landing page. Don't uh, use it uh, in a high number, uh, only with a little bit and uh, use your attention and uh, respect your uh, audience. Yeah. because uh, pop-up are um, not so good, yeah, but I, it works. I completely agree. You can, can overdo that easily. Here, here's a killer question from Michael. <laughs> How can I create all this content? Where can I find good freelancers? <laughs> <laughs> Mm, you can call me. <laughs> no, uh, okay. <laughs> you have to study. <laughs> you have to study. And uh, again, uh, um, I for when I write an email, uh, I use uh, three four hours of my time. Every single email, you have to uh, dedicate times at your work and study your audience and study yourself. You have to know uh, how you are, uh, sorry, but my English is not <laughs> so well. Um, you have to know your potential and yeah. uh, start with a low level uh, strategy and um, go a little bit more every time. Yeah, I, I see the point of Michael, though, that this does not work in every scenario. When you look, think of larger corporations or, or maybe limited resources on your side, and you w want to come up with a strategy to really give it to somebody else's hand, uh, I, I guess the single most important thing is to have a long-term relationship, to have somebody who can really, really understand your business and, and um, is caring about what, what he or she is dropping out, right? Yeah, um, ma marketing automation in general is a, a long period strategy. You mm -hmm. need the time, you need uh, to um, uh, live with your customer, with your um, contacts. So uh, come with them, uh, learn every day something, uh, study your uh, contacts and their behavior. And uh, don't think that uh, with the first email you, you can obtain some results. Uh, yeah. It's not work or sometimes. Uh, for example, the, the, my customer, the company that I explained before uh, is a, a big marketplace uh, and uh, they have 18 marketers, I, I remember, think, and, um, and uh, high AI intelligence and intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence uh, solutions and uh, many copiers, um, a big, big uh, company. And uh, we work uh, three months to standard, to obtain a standard solution uh, for, uh, for our content strategy. So um, be patient, uh, yeah. you need time. I think, I think that's a really good, uh, Final word, unless you have more for us, but, but uh, we're out of questions and uh, we're also al almost out of time. Uh, so if you have nothing else, then then all I can do is thank you so much for those insights. I think it was fascinating things and there's probably much more to learn from you. So uh, where, where can people find you, by the way? 
on LinkedIn or website or yeah uh, my website uh, strategiesociali.it is in uh, only for Italians uh, um, I'm uh, a freelance and I work on above all for uh, for Italians uh, sorry uh, but you can find me on uh, Facebook uh, on LinkedIn uh, Instagram uh, YouTube uh, and so on uh, Antonio oh, Lazzari <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Antonio, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the Morticon. I talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye.